Boruto episode 66, my story. So this episode, I guess, is the beginning. It's it's kind of like this weird integral between arcs because even though it's like him by the end is like, you know, I'm going to have my own ninja way and stuff. This episode was really just him apologizing to people for kind of being the douchebag that he was for using uh, the scientific ninja tool. So this episode wasn't really much. It was kind of a filler, but at the same time, it kind of, it, you know, it's basically once you end an arc, you kind of need that next um sort of you know that low level episode that's kind of the introduction to the new arc nothing really happened in this episode that will truly introduce the elements of you know conflict within the arc but you know it was just boruto going around doing his thing um naruto actually spends time with his family and stuff and he's actually there which i thought was a nice scene where boruto uh punched him but decent episode uh not much really to it it was like you know they talked about him uh, having the conversation and Sasuke's like I think only the two of us really saw it and I don't want to freak you out but that's not normal like, like basically what happened to you is not normal um so you know kind of be careful about that and they kind of reveal at the end of the episode that he has like this little black diamond on his hand which I thought was kind of cool and that is like I guess technically it would be like step two of him uh going into you know kind of that far-flung future that we got in the very first episode where he's fighting um whoever that character is and it's something like Waki or something like that I forgot um but you know the village is destroyed and everything so he has the eye and he has the power which starts at his hand and then like goes down his arm so that's I believe you know what the diamond is that little implication so they're kind of heading towards that but you know that won't come to fruition for a super long time I'm pretty sure based on what I've heard you know before we even got here it's taken a long time they still like I said it's I haven't heard anything about the manga because I've been avoiding it but you know last I heard which was probably when this series started they still hadn't introduced the character uh that destroys the village like he's not in the manga he could be at this point i have no idea but you know we still got a long time to go especially considering based on the promo the very next episode is just a full-on filler episode like this one was like okay you need that rest episode it's picking up right after the events of this insanely super epic episode i watched that junk like 10 times now that fight scene um but it's coming off this really crazy episode everybody's you know talking about how they feel and you know they have boruto apologizing and how that's impacting his relationship and how other characters think like uh shanky and stuff like that and what he was thinking and how you know boruto is able to beat this insane villain that he knows he couldn't have defeated and stuff like that and how that impacts him so i was like all right you need this type of episode showing the recuperation of the city and of the characters and then the next episode is just you know full-on filler of chocho which maybe we'll get to see her do some cool moves but it's just a big filler episode. So at this point, we don't really know what's happening for the arc. Um, I'm sure it's out there, but for now, that you know, they're keeping it hidden. They have like the sweet teaser um, of the third villain who survived. And I'm like, I'm sure that won't mean anything for probably like another 20 episodes. Like, I feel like that's, you know, they put that in there, but I think it'll be just like um, the first season where it was like, oh, they have all these little bits and pieces, but it didn't lead up to anything until it got to the movie arc. So it's going to take a few more seasons before he recuperates and maybe, you know, brings in new villains. But I believe the characters we have at the end of this uh, or in the actual outro of the episode that we've had for a couple episodes now, those silhouette characters have to be the new villains because uh, much like when they changed the very beginning of the outro after Boruto actually used the Rasengan, they changed it to like Naruto helping him out and he has the giant Rasengan. Those characters are way too animated. They're too much detail to not actually be characters in the show. Like one character, he's like the first character I think he's fighting is wearing a full on outfit with like a scarf straight down the middle and the scarf is moving on its own as the character moves. And I'm like, that's way too much fluid animation for just great characters. Like even if they don't put design in, that's such a long time to really draw that stuff out and it's like those characters especially considering it's so much action and they're all grayed out i'm like they have to be you know the main villain so they'll probably kind of be lit up one by one as they get introduced which i think would be cool if that's how they do it it's like it won't obviously it won't be akatsuki levels but i assume based on how it is it's like a gang or a group or somebody's coming in so um i could be wrong and they just did some crazy animation for gray characters but i feel like with the detail especially because the costumes were so insanely different i'm like that character is wearing like a full body so it was basically dressed like Whis, uh from dragon ball so i'm like uh, that's just like a dress with a giant scarf in the middle and like that's too much detail for a random gray character so i feel like those are going to be the main villains of the arc as they get introduced they'll be lit up one by one and it kind of reminds me of like the opening uh the third opening of the original series which is um 
of course, fighting dreamers, but the actual animation to that opening changes throughout the episodes. Like when Tsunade gets revealed, um, instead of it showing like the back of her jacket, it actually shows her face and um, Shizune is in the background and stuff. And then they show um, like Naruto throws a punch, but like by the end of that season, he's learned the Rasengan. So it's him actually throwing the Rasengan instead of him throwing the punch. So throughout that season, and I think that's when they reveal... Um, I want to say the like the sound for or you know the characters that they fight during the Sasuke retrieval arc those characters start to get revealed as well or maybe that was in the Sasuke retrieval arc but it's just like that where they're instead of it being the opening that changes throughout the season it's the ending so I feel like that's what they're going to do as the villains officially come into the show but I'm looking forward to where we're headed with the next arc I'm definitely excited to kind of see things go forward with Boruto's official story like his ninja way and you know whatever he's going to end up doing but I'm looking forward to it. Should be, I mean, not the next episode, but going forward, I'm definitely excited for where we're headed. Um, I've been debating it, and now I think this is kind of where I want to get into it. Like now that everything's brand new, I kind of just want to shoot through and you know start reading the manga, even though that'll kind of spoil all the good episodes. But still, definitely want to start shooting through it now to learn the official story of the series. Now that we've gotten through all the you know brand new content from the series with them in school and then of course going through the recap stuff with the uh, boruto movie arc plus the super epic remake of that ending fight scene uh, from the movie so that was great i was really happy that they did that like obviously that last episode i mean it was it was insane but looking forward to where we're headed but of course would love to know what you guys thought about this kind of in between the arcs uh type episode you know where they're headed what they did with the characters just the little emotional beats that they hit with them and how things played out so i'd love to know what you guys are thinking about that so please comment below let me know your favorite parts about it least favorite parts about it and of course with this going forward um if you have not read the manga like myself we now no longer have the movie so i don't know you know where the heck we're headed with anything i would love to know your predictions on you know where we're headed and of course i would love to know your hopes on what you would like to see from you know what they're going to be doing with boruto going forward obviously we have like the big arc coming up you know in the future as far as the eye powers and whatever's going to happen with the you know the little black diamond mark on his hand but like i feel like that's so far away you know hopefully not going to take a year but i feel like that's going to be at least the arc after this one if not two arcs you know after the one we're currently on so i hope it doesn't take that long but you know it's boruto like i mean they technically it didn't start with filler because the series was all brand new content so technically nothing's filler um and that's always my least favorite thing is like even when it's all brand new content they still have filler episodes much like next week um so we'll see how it plays out hopefully it's at least entertaining and you know they're doing ninja hollywood so that should be something which oddly enough i isn't the first time they've kind of tackled that in the naruto universe because i'm pretty sure in one of the movies that's like what he's doing is he's guarding um the actress or something like that from i can't remember i feel like in one of the movies they're dealing with an actual actor or something like that but either way we'd love to know what you guys thought about this episode um what you guys want to see going into a new arc you know if you have like no expectations based on the manga but what do you want to see what do you want to see start coming into this series i would love it um honestly i would have loved it if sasuke stayed longer and he like officially started training boruto i think that just would have been super cool because I kind of want to see that. I want to see what Sasuke would be like as a mentor with his mentality being, obviously, you know, the point is that he's similar to Kakashi. That's why they were so attached. And then everything else that's happened, you know, obviously Kakashi didn't have kids. He could have a million. I mean, he's apparently super hot, so who knows? But um, Sasuke does. And so it was like, how would that play out? But I'm looking forward to where we're headed in general. Like I said, I'd love to know uh, what you guys are hoping we get going forward in the series. And of course, what you guys thought about this episode in general. So please comment below. Let me know. And thanks for watching.